off. I'm at a party one night downtown. This is the late 90s somewhere. I'm at this party, and this woman comes up to me, Maria Stumiak. Yes? A yak, just like me. And she recognizes me, not from Henry Fool or Sex and the City, but from a variety show I did at the public theater. And she's young, like still in college, NYU. And here I am, a successful actor, and she tells me she's been thinking about me ever since she saw me in that show. And I know the score. This is not my first rodeo. Thinking about you is code. And that was the first time that it ever happened to me. And while I'm only human, I mean, this is what every actor dreams of, right? A woman, and she's good-looking, too. She's really interesting and smart, gangly, the way I like them. And we start talking, and we just have everything in common. She likes pavement. She knows the goon show. She loves Tony Randall and Charles Lawton. And we have a great time talking. And it gets late, and people start going home. And Maria says that she has to help clean up, but if I want to sack out in her bedroom, I'm welcome to stay. Well, what am I supposed to do? I go to her bedroom, I take off my shoes, and lie down. I can't believe my luck. I don't take off my clothes. That would be gauche. Besides, why ruin the surprise? And in a little while she comes in and is being really quiet. And she strips down to her slip, black slip. It's got like an ivy lace thing along the hem. And she lies down on this little two-seater couch she's got in her room. And I think, well, here's my cue. And I slip out of bed, and I go over to her on the couch. I snuggle against her, and we make out. Nothing serious, nothing I'd have to regret later, but it's good, it's intense and warm and intimate and I fall asleep next to her. And a few hours later it's morning and she's gone to work and I go home and I never see her again. But I think about her all the time. I don't think a week goes by that I don't think about her. And now I'm Googling Maria. And look at that. She's got her own design studio. Good for her. I told you she was smart. Hmm. I wonder she's... In New York, I wonder, it's early there, but I wonder if she has her own business. She's probably up by now. I wonder if, I'm, you know, I'm going to call her. I'm going to call her before I chicken out. 212, dun, 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 3648. This is weird. I should hang up. Yeah, I'm going to hang. Hello? Oh, uh, hi. (laughs) Maria? Who is this? It's James. James Rabaniak. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's it going? We met at that party that time back in the... No, 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 I remember. Yeah, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. I'm, uh, I'm out in L.A. now. Uh, cool. And good. yeah, uh, wife and kids, all good. Okay. Um, good. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm actually doing a um, 
a podcast here. Uh huh. I do that now, along with the acting, you know, to keep my name out there. And yeah, yeah. I was ju- I was just reminiscing about old times. Wait, you, you're recording this? Uh, yeah. Do you think that's appropriate? <laughs> I uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I was just. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, listen, James. It was great hearing from you, but I, I, I have to actually get ready for work. Um. I've got a big delivery on the yeah, other Yeah, I saw that on the internet. You have your own company now. That's great. You're stalking me? I, oh, no. I just, I like I say, I'm doing the podcast here, and I was just, um... Are you drunk? Uh, no. Because I know you get this way when you're drunk. I'm not sure what you're talking about. The last time I saw you... At the party? Yeah, I was just talking about that. I was just saying how you asked me to stay... And it was a really special night for me. I asked you to uh, stay because you were too drunk to walk home. uh, Do you even remember what you did? I I um, let you collapse in my room. Then when I came in to go to sleep on my couch, you came over and started groping me. I... You you didn't say anything. What was I supposed to say? I didn't want my roommates to know I was being molested by James Urbaniak. I mean, my God, how embarrassing. I molested? So I just stayed quiet and pretended you weren't there until you got done doing whatever you thought you were doing and fell asleep. I don't know what to say. I was 20, James. I was 20. You were, I don't know how old. I don't know, 35. 35? Jesus! And climbing on top of 20-year-olds when you're too drunk to walk. You know, I'm glad you called. I'm glad you called. I'm sorry, I don't... Because now I can finally tell you what I wanted to tell you that night. You're a creep, James. You're a creep.